Hi, I'm Dale Clayton, a professor at the uh, University of Utah in the Department of Biology. And I'm an evolutionary parasitologist. I study interactions between hosts and parasites, especially those between birds and ectoparasites called feather lice. Uh, <clears throat> when I moved to the University of uh, Utah about 15 years ago, I discovered to my dismay that I couldn't keep these feather lice alive on captive birds that we have in our lab for study. And it turned out that the reason is because these lice obtain all their moisture directly from the air. They don't feed on blood. They feed only on feathers and get moisture from the air, which is impossible when the air is too dry, as it tends to be here in Utah, especially in the winter when heaters are on, which dry out the air even more. So we discovered that in order to keep lice alive on our laboratory birds, we needed to humidify the air in our animal rooms. This provided the reciprocal advantage that if we wanted to kill all of the parasites on a bird, uh, we could simply lower the humidity in our animal rooms. We could then put exact numbers of lice on birds for experiments and so on. Around the time we were developing these methods for our basic research, my uh, school-aged children, Roger and Miriam, came home with bad cases of head lice. And I experienced the frustration that many parents do in trying to get rid of these head lice because the shampoos that we tried uh, weren't working. It turns out because lice have evolved resistance to the chemicals in those shampoos and so on. So we got to thinking about whether it might be possible to kill head lice, like feather lice, by desiccating or drying out their immediate environment. And so we started playing with different methods of delivering heated air uh, to the scalp to try and kill head lice and their eggs. We tried uh, the old style bonnet hair dryers. We tried conventional blow dryers. We tried bigger uh, hand and hair dryers like you find in a gymnasium or a restaurant. And none of these methods worked very well, partly because they tend to mat the hair down, thus protecting the lice and eggs under the hair. So next we started to try and develop uh, a special device expressly for controlling head lice. And over a number of years, we finally succeeded in developing this machine, which we call the Louse Buster which blows uh, a large volume of heated air through this hose and out this applicator tip. The way it works is to deliver heated air to the roots of the hairs where lice and their eggs tend to congregate. It's extremely effective. It dries out the eggs and the lice, sort of analogous to if you were to put your head out of a speeding car window and find that your eyes dry out very quickly. That's how it works. The air is not as warm as a blow dryer. It's cooler, but there's a lot more of it, two to three times as much air as a standard blow dryer blows. This device, which is uh, cleared by the FDA, uh, is simple and effective. Uh, we uh, apply uh, the applicator to one part of the scalp for 30 seconds and then move it from position to position. And in so doing, we're able to treat uh, a person with head lice in only 30 minutes. Uh, regardless of hair length. We then comb uh, the hair to get rid of the dead lice and eggs, and this turns out to be extremely effective. It's basically an ecological rather than a chemical approach to uh, treating head lice. So in summary, we have developed a device that treats head lice using only directed heated air that is safe, uh, it's effective, and it's fast. It kills all stages of lice, hatch lice and their eggs, uh, uh, very rapidly. Thanks.